Now we're going to describe how to orient a hinge using a surface reference in OpenVSP. Under the hinge tab in orient, notice we can pick the surf point option, and now we can pick a UW location on this wing that our hinge is going to point to regardless of where the hinge itself is. Now this may be useful for some of you that want to have a hinge that's attached in UW and pointing to a certain UW location. So this means that the hinge location and the hinge itself is going to parametrically vary depending on how your wing is built. Or, you know, it also works for other components like a pod or a fuselage. Any component will work. So in this case, notice that we have a UW of 5 and 5, meaning that it's attached to the leading edge about halfway along the span. And in this wing component or the hinge itself in transform, we have it attached at a U location. We can move the U position of attachment around and the position that it's pointing to is going to remain fixed on this wing. If we come back to 0 0.5, we can go to the orient tab and also move the pointer around. Now we can also move this around in W, so notice how it's just kind of going around the upper and lower surface. I've just chosen the leading edge as an example. Now another neat thing about this is because we've attached it to surface locations in both senses, when we come here and start to move this wing around, the hinge itself is going to transform along with it. So let's say we want to give this some more span. Well, we can do that and the hinge is going to keep that orientation relative to this body. If we come in and start adjusting, say, the incidence, again, it's going to rotate around and remain attached. So this makes it very, very useful for physical representations aligned with points on bodies. Now here's an important thing to note. The hinge is using UW reference points to something that it's attached to in UW. So if we come to transform, you see UW. What happens if we turn that off? Notice now that it doesn't really matter where we slide this UW around. It's not attached to anything, but the point that it's pointing to is still on the surface of its nearest parent. So the reason it does that is because to have UW attachment on a surface, it has to have something to point to, and it's going to pick this. So we can still move this U around and the W, and it will point to this position on the body. But if we come in and start moving the wing itself around, say in Y, notice that the hinge remains fixed in space, and it's pointing to this position wherever this happens to go, even though it's a child of the wing. We can even come into transform and start moving the hinge itself around, and it's still always going to point to that position on the wing. So that it's an, it's an important distinction to make that it doesn't have to be attached to its parent, but you can still use that UW coordinate to point to. And if you want, as a final note, you can choose a UW position as well as an offset in X, Y, or Z in a relative or absolute sense.